everyone, happy Hanukkah. I'm here today to tell you about making salt dough menorahs. You're gonna need three ingredients and you probably have them all in your house right now. The first you'll need is some flour, you'll need salt, and then you'll need some water. You'll need a couple of tools. You'll need a bowl and a spoon. You'll need a dry measuring cup and a wet measuring cup. You'll need a cookie sheet, and I recommend some parchment paper just so it doesn't stick. The first thing you'll do is you'll add four cups of flour, one cup of salt, and one and a half cups of water. It's all in the directions down below, so you don't have to write this down as we go along. You'll stir it all up. After a minute or so, it'll start to get hard to stir. Get your fingers in there and knead it. And after you've been kneading it and stirring it for about five minutes, you'll end up with a nice dough. It'll be nice and smooth and there won't be any lumps in it. Now you're ready to start making things. With my kids were little, one of our favorite menorahs was an octopus. It's really simple to make. All you're gonna do is to take a chunk of the dough, you'll roll it in your hands, and then you'll flatten it out. And that's gonna be his head. And that's where we'll put the shamash when we get to it, the candle that lights the other ones. Just put that down on the parchment paper. To make his legs, all you're gonna do is pinch off a smaller piece of dough, roll it out like a snake, and then it's sticky. So you'll just stick it to the other piece, to the head, just squish it in there. And then we like to give it a little bit of a curl or something like that as you lay it out. When we, you've got the whole thing put together, it'll look sort of like this or whatever shape you want. And you could make the shape anything you want. It doesn't have to be an octopus. You could make a giraffe. You could make a submarine, anything you want. You want to try and keep it to a quarter to a half of an inch thick so it doesn't get really thick. Otherwise, it'll take too long to bake. The next thing we need to do is to make some holes for the candles. There are two choices. You can take a candle and just poke it right into the arm. So if you see, you'll take the arm and just push it down and the candle will fit right in there. And that way, you don't wanna to push too hard though because you don't wanna make a hole going into it. But that way the candle will stay nice and firmly. You can twist it a little bit. The other option is that you can take a nut, like the nuts and bolts, and you, find, you need to find one that'll hold your, your actual can, um, candle size. Different candles are different sizes and you can just place that at the end of the arm and that will then hold the, bowl, the candle. So you could do it either way. The other thing is you will probably have some leftover dough and use that for all sorts of great ideas. Here's one simple one for Hanukkah, is you could make a, a little dreidel. This one you'll see um, has a hay on it. Once it's dried out and you have two choices, you can, you're gonna need to bake it and your mom and dad will have to help you with that. It'll bake in a 200, 250 degree oven for about an hour or two. But you can also leave it out to dry to make the baking time less intense. Just leave it to dry and then turn it over every once in a while. The hay here is hard to see, but once it's dry, we're gonna paint it. So you can paint it with just regular old acrylic paint, whatever you have in the house. One year, my kids and I even just used magic markers because we didn't have any paint. And that's fine too. You can also use glue and sprinkles or glue and then put on, you know, or you could put on stickers, whatever you have. It doesn't matter. It's your creation. When you're all done, you'll um, want to then cover it with something to make it last a little longer. If you have Mod Podge, that works great. You could use a polyacrylic either a spray or brush it on. Quite frankly, sometimes I've just used Future Floor Wax. It has a nice wax that builds up into it and makes it shiny. Whatever you use, it doesn't matter. It's great. Have a terrific time. Be creative. Think of the most fun you can. And also, remember, if you would, post your family lighting a menorah, either the one that you just made with the salto or whatever else you have that you choose to make instead, and post it on our Facebook page. Happy Hanukkah!